Hi everyone. Last month's painting prompt was a sketchbook challenge. I spent much more time in my sketchbook as a result, but I certainly didn't reach the goal of doing a full page in my sketchbook every single day. But I'm still really happy with the result and the new orientation towards my sketchbook. It's what I was hoping for. I'm getting that habit of the sketchbook and I'm kind of excited about it. But this month's prompt is all about the fall and about nestling into our studios. Whether your studio is a little corner in your, on your kitchen counter or a more expansive space, in order to be productive in our studios, we need to be mentally organized and functionally organized. So before I really nestle into that work, I'm going to do and think about a few things. What's my intention for the work? Am I going to work on a new series? Am I going to work on a specific genre? So what is it that I have in mind? And do I have all the materials, for instance, to create all that work? Do I have music that's going to excite me and get me um, feeling like I really want to be in my space? Do I have heat? Am I, is my space going to be really comfortable? So I'm going to kind of go through that list of all those things so that I make sure I'm really going to make the most of my time. Have I cleared my social calendar so that I really have my priorities straight about my studio time and I'm realistic about the time that I'm going to spend at my easel? So one of the things that I learned when I was at the IAPS convention, there was a speaker, Eric Mizell, who wrote a fantastic book called Fearless Creating. His advice was to do that creative act the very first thing in the morning not to wait into the evening. So that's uh, one of my primary intents for the fall is to make sure that the creativity happens early in the day. So um, that's my admonishment to you to, to get organized, get your studio space organized for the fall and um, get in there and get in that mileage. Okay, thanks guys.